Hello YouTube family, I'm back with another devotional reading, hope you all are doing well. This devotional is entitled, Passionate Obedience. And I'm reading from the Bible, Romans 6, 16-23. <clears throat> Don't you realize that you'll become a slave of whatever you choose to obey? You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death, but you can choose to obey God, which leads righteous living. Thank God once you were saved of sin, but now you wholeheartedly obey his teaching we have given you. Now you are free from your slavery to sin, and you have become slaves to righteous living. Because of the weakness of your human nature. I am using an illustration of slavery to help you understand all this. Previously, you let yourselves be slaves to impurity and lawlessness, which led ever deeper into sin. Now you must give yourselves to be slaves to righteousness righteous living so that you will become holy. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right. And what was the result? You are now ashamed of the thing you used to do, things that end in eternal doom. But now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. Now you do th those things that are that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through. Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. All right, that's the Bible reading. That was a devotion. A passion to obey God doesn't come naturally. Salvation may, may spark love and a desire to please Him. A passionate fire is built slowly from the timbers of spiritual knowledge, faith, and devotion. Obedience usually begins with a fear of the consequences of disobeying. That is, newer believers can at least enjoy the safety of avoiding repercussions until they develop better reasons to follow God. Thankfully, as we mature and build a scriptural foundation, fear is replaced by both recognition of God's sanity and submission to his wisdom. Over time, following the Lord becomes less, becomes less about consequences for disobeying and more about blessing for obeying. Once we taste God's goodness, we learn that obedience and God's best of a natural partner. Good advice from following divine commands of suffering results when we demand our own way. This irrevocable principle plays out in the Bible as well as in the day 
everyday life. And the more we observe it, the more we realize the Lord's will is the wisest choice. All the promised blessings in the world cannot make a believer follow God into some frightening places, but that's where love for our Father comes in, as it compels us toward obedience, no matter what the death state. Amen. All right. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope you got something from it. And until I read to you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.